Welcome to Tyrannosaurus Riffs. My name is Brandon and today we're going to check out the PV6505 Plus. The PV6505 Plus is a 120 watt all tube amplifier powered by four 6L6 power tubes and six 12AX7 preamp tubes. Across the front of the amplifier you're going to have your input with the channel selection. Your rhythm section contains a bright switch and a crunch along with your pre, low, mid, high, and post knobs. Your lead section's got your pre, low, mid, high, and post, followed by rhythm and lead having its own resonance and presence. On the back of the amplifier, you've got your ground, your bias test points, your effects loop send and return, your preamp out, remote switch, your speaker outputs, and your 4, 8, or 16 impedance selection. Now before we jump into a playthrough, let's check this out in a quick mix. Alright, I hope you're all doing well out there. I just thought it would be fun to check out the PV6505 Plus. Now, if you don't know what this is, then you truly have been living under a rock. But, if you are my age, you grew up thinking this was the greatest amplifier in the world. Which, it definitely can be, but that's completely subjective. Now, I'm 34, and I grew up seeing the PV6505 across many stages with many different bands. And I had a friend when I was a little older uh, tell me about the PV5150 and I was like, yeah, but why, why would I want that? I've, I want the 6505. I did not know it was the same amplifier rebranded. So if you're my age or younger and you didn't know that, now you know. So 6505 is just PV's name after Eddie Van Halen took the 5150 name with him over to Fender to start the EVH amplifier. So 6505, the 65 commemorates PV start year and the 05, 40 years of, you know, business. And that's the year that the 6505 got its name. So there's that fun fact for you. Honestly, between the 5150s and the 6505s, they're on countless records. Trivium, you've got Camara, You've got Bullet For My Valentine, and I, I can't even name them all. These amplifiers are in all spectrums of metal, and for a good reason, They're, they really have some great tones, and they've got the balls and the depth that you could want out of an amplifier. So I personally like the Plus or the 2, 5152, better than just the OG, because you do get separate controls where is the regular 6505 or 5150? It's gonna be the shared band EQ. I like having the separation. So the plus or the twos are the way to go. The plus is actually no longer as PV's just rebranded the 6505, the 1992 original, and the 6505 too. So there's about 500 variants between the minis and the different 5150, 6505s. There's a lot of them out there. Um, they're all pretty dang great. This one is a 2008 USA made. Now, I've seen people arguing on the internet that when PV moved these to be made in China, they became worse. I've had four. Now, I've, I don't know why I keep buying and selling these amplifiers. Um, I don't know that I can hear the difference. I know that in some point in the 5150 era, the transformers got switched by the company that was making them. Um, there were some parts tolerance things going on, but honestly, I don't know that. I wish I had a Chinese 6505 here. I'd just compare them and, and they'd probably sound the same, but you know, teach their own. I don't really care. I just got lucky when I picked this one up that it was USA made, I guess. So, but I, I still would have bought it even if it was the Chinese version. So 
Let's stop talking about it and let's just check it out. We're gonna check out both channels, the green and the red, but let's go ahead and start with the green. All right, so other than my pre and post, I've got all the EQ set to noon to kind of start this off. Now, we're going to get a clean tone out of this real quick, but I will also show you what the green channel crunch can do. Now, Machine Head, I don't remember which album, but supposedly Machine Head used the green channel and I think they just boosted it. I feel like I remember them talking about a Maxon 808 maybe, but I don't remember for sure. The green channel is pretty great. Most people are just playing with the red, but I want to show you both. So today I've got my Schecter Hellraiser C1 FR with an EMG 81 and 85. This guitar is tuned to drop C. And if you've been here before, you know that I like to get a clean tone out of the neck pickup. So everything at noon, this is what it sounds like. So I like, I personally like a lot of low end on my clean stuff. just gives it a lot of extra depth that I feel, I don't know, I just like it. But I could do without the mids and the clean stuff. And bright. Now for a clean on this amplifier, I would generally be using a Boss Super Chorus or a little bit of reverb or delay, but I don't have any pedals connected, so that's just the amplifier. When you want to do the crunch thing on the green channel, you basically just reverse your pre and post. So we'll start with the post so I don't break my ears, but basically turn that up, turn that down, flip them basically opposites, hit your crunch switch, or if you've got the foot switch on, and you get this. So, you can go with a really clean, bright type of sound with your green and use your red channel for the dirt if you need a little bit of both, which is what my preference would be or if you want two different types of gain, you've got the green that you can do that with, or the red, so. Now, if you don't like that much gain, you can definitely dial that down too. Do as you want. It's a pretty flexible amp, but I definitely like my crunch right there. Do your pop punk type stuff with that too. But enough of the green channel, let's jump over to the red channel. Now when I had my band raise the pyre, I would use the clean green the really clean green and I would use the red channel for my high gain stuff. So again, we've got everything set to noon. Let's kind of dial this in for a second. You get too much bass in there and it starts to get pretty woofy. Now you might like that sound in a room by yourself, but if you're in a band situation and you've got another guitarist and a bass player and some double kick going, you probably want to dial back that low end so you're not so woofy sounding. That red 
resonance is going to give you that woof too. I personally kind of like it right there. That's not how I used this amplifier when I was in Raise the Fire, but uh, let me show you what this sounds like. It doesn't matter what you do with this amplifier, whether you're doing leads or you're doing rhythm, cleans, you can find a way to get it to do anything you want. And I think that's why there's so many of these out there. I mean, these were, these have been huge for decades now. Um, and that's why they're still relevant in 2023. They great, they're workhorses. And I mean, they've really stood the test of time when it comes to high gain amplifiers. So all the bands you listen to have probably used them at some point. And honestly, in the early 2000s, if you weren't playing a 6505 5150, you were probably playing a Mesa Dual or Triple Rectifier. Those seem to be the kind of big hitters, you know, 20, 25 years ago. Those were the really exciting ones, at least here in the USA. Now, obviously, over in Europe, you've got Angle and the other brands, but, but the PVs have just stood the test of time. So that's my little video on this amplifier. I know it's not new or anything, but it's still exciting and i think it's still just as relevant today as it was back in 1992 when the pv5150 was originally released so anyway i hope you had fun and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for tuning in take care and i'll see you soon